Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are still uh, shooting kind of low quality here as parts for my camera are still getting repaired. Um, so bear with it. Probably at least uh, at least for this week, maybe next week still, we're going to be facing uh, this low quality. So um, anyways, I wanted to touch upon... Um, a lot of statements I've been getting and a statement that I put out last week regarding the new Windows update, the creators update that is uh, allegedly causing issues with Input Mapper. Um, I just got the update this morning through Windows Update. Um, I didn't do what a lot of other people were doing, which was, you know, reinstalling Windows with the ISO that they were distributing early. And I I don't understand why people are always in such a hurry to jump on these Windows updates, given that they usually always end poorly. Um, you know, let that stuff play out a little bit. Don't jump on these things early. Don't try to get them early, regardless of these new features Microsoft is promising, because it's not worth the 10, sh ten, ten things that they're breaking in order to give you those. So, uh, that said, um, I got the normal scheduled update this morning, uh, the 11th. Um, and I can't reproduce the issue. Um, I just reinstalled Input Mapper 1.6, and it's running fine. I have my controller plugged in, and it's responding fine. Um, so I'm not sure what people are talking about. I even have a dongle plugged in. I'll, I'll try turning on the other controller and see how it responds through the dongle. Controller one, and that one looks like it's responding fine too. So, um, I'm not saying that people aren't having an issue, but uh, nobody has posted any crash or debug logs or anything. So, I can't narrow anything down. Um, I have no idea what's going on with their specific instances, but. Uh, I don't think it's the creative update alone causing issues with Input Mapper. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I unfortunately have not been doing much in the way of Input Mapper uh, last week or so. Um, had some things going on that couldn't be avoided, and it's taken all my time and attention right now and development's probably going to be slow for at least the coming week week and a half maybe two um, I'll try to get some work in there I do still want to try to release what I have done so far in input mapper 1.7 um, I've been waiting to see if Benjamin's drivers uh, if he's able to release an update that could fix some of the issues with HID Guardian um, if it doesn't look like that's going to be happening in the instant, you know, instant future here, uh, the next day or two. So um, I'll just disable that option by default in the install and push what I have in Input Mapper, uh, which contains updates to the on screen keyboard, uh, some language settings, um, and a couple other bug fixes, stuff like that, as well as uh, device support for a couple new devices. Uh, so um, that's about it. Uh, like I said, sorry about the quality again uh, until I get the parts back for this 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 camera here. Uh, until I get the parts back from the repair shop on that, uh, I'm gonna be dealing with this webcam, which I'm not sure why it's recording an even lower quality than I know it can handle. But I'm not even gonna fuss with it. You guys don't necessarily need to see me in 1080p. So, all right, guys, that'll do it. I'll check back in with you when I have more information on the Windows updates and uh, what's causing issues with Input Mapper. Have a good one.